Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So I'm going to go with you guys on REV, a major breakout that we had in the Instables room. As you guys can see, at the end of the day, we are testing our 20 day moving average. Our question is, are we going to continue on higher from here or are we going to continue on lower since we have been on quite the run? I'm going to go over exactly what would have to happen for us to continue and what exactly gave us confirmation on this breakout today. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that I mention every single day throughout the week. And if you are a day trader or you are looking for intraday perspective, breakouts very volatile breakouts that we mentioned every single day throughout the week go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again so let's jump into this one So jumping into the five minute chart with you guys here on REV, we did mention them since $5.50. I think we mentioned them a little earlier on a spike at $4.50. And then we did continue on higher, breaking up all the way up over $9 on the day, just under $10. So I would be looking to see if we can at least jump back over 10 if we were going to be looking for that continuation. Our question going into tomorrow is to see if we can continue to respect our 20 to moving average or to see if we can get back above it, to see if we can continue on higher and continue on with that momentum. But again, a major run here with REV. Again, this is an old short squeeze stock that we had a major break out with after having a major breakout in the instabilization with QRTEB. We had a major breakout here with REV. As you guys can see on our MACD, we do have our strength. Again, we do have our increase in sell pressure at the end of the day, showing us a lot of decrease in momentum to the upside. So I definitely would be careful. We do have our EMU lines crossing down here, still above the median of our MACD, showing us that we still could continue. So that's why people will keep REV still on the watch, just like we mentioned in the last video with QRTEB. Now looking at our relative strength, as you guys can see, we are jumping out of overbought territory. We want to see if we can jump back into overbought territory very similar again to QRTEB as you guys can see on QRTEB we also do have our EMU lines crossing down here above the median of our MACD and we also are jumping out of overbought territory looking to see if we can jump back into overbought territory in my opinion if QRTEB continues to break out tomorrow then I definitely would keep an eye on REV for that possible momentum from QRTEB but again going to tomorrow just looking to see if we can jump back over our 20 to moving average we still have our 20 over our 50 showing us that we still can continue we did again get that rejection just below our $10 psychological resistance and that could mean that we are just getting a rejection here at $10 for a possible continuation. But again, a major breakout that we had with REV in the Instables room today. If we do get more confirmation, again, we will mention them in the Instables room. And again, if you do want to see all these breakouts throughout the day, again, major breakouts like we had here with REV or major breakouts like we had with QRTEB, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And all of you Instables that come over every single day and support this channel, an amazing day. You pretty much anything you probably played and at least went green throughout the day. I mean, it was just amazing plays that we had all around the table in the Instables room today. We're going to continue to stay patient, take what the market gives us. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.